What is up, you guys? I'm going to do a, a pre-recorded one today because we're at a parade right now. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you wear green or you're going to get pinched. Mm-hmm. Things are falling. I don't know why. The spaceship they're building upstairs. It, I'm pretty sure it's the spaceship. So, stay tuned to see my rendition of... The St. Patrick's Day Poor. Hi, baby miss. I know it. Go lay down. So, this is going to be rather quick pour. I don't want to overthink it because... I don't want to. I think that's when you get into like sticky situations when you just put too much thought into what you're doing. Because then you have expectations and when things go crazy then you're like, I hate it. But you shouldn't hate it because Resmond's going to do what it wants to do and you really just should go with it because it's, it's going to do what it wants to do anyway. So just learn to like it. I'm going to pour on a something, 10 by 20, somewhere in there, size canvas that I had painted on before, but I didn't like it, so I spray gessoed over it, and we're going to pour over it. It is kind of chilly here today, so my resin is on the thicker side. If you're new to resin, make sure that you mix part A and part B completely together. I think most bottles of resin say to make sure to mix it at least three minutes. It always depends on like how much you're mixing up. I'm doing what I imagine, I assume is eight ounces by volume. It's the most boring part, Tressa. No, because I only have, it's, it's literally just doing this. So I have both of my ginger ladies here. They are chilling like villains. Tressa's waiting on me to get done doing this. And Amanda is hoping that it'd take longer because she is actually taking a nap right now. Amanda has me need. Amanda Bangs. Amanda Bangs. Everybody needs Amanda Bangs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, tune into our Snapchats for behind the scenes, completely should not be recording things, videos. Like today, I had no business with a camera. Mm. <laughs> that is also probably true. And by probably, I mean, like, nailed it. But I did good today because I knew I had to film still, so. I am not inebriated. I drank just enough to be sleepy. That sounds like a challenge. It's life. Also, when you're mixing your resin, don't forget to scrape your, um, stir stick. Make sure you get all that resin off. Okay. Baby Miz, who are you talking to? There's apparently an invisible intruder in the gallery or in the paint store. Joss is going to inspect for me. She's on mommy duty. Oh, I know it, Moopup. He's very angry about whatever it is. Does he just want to get in his window? He in All of that just mad <laughs> fluff. Because window. He's going to murder somebody if he doesn't get his window. Yeah, it's just like Moves get very mad when they don't get their way. I've learned that. That too. 
In case you are new to the channel, I have a dog. His name is Cujo. He's the most ferocious one. <laughs> Weighing it at nine years, five pounds, zero ounces. Three of those pounds probably are here for sure. I don't know, he's cut pretty short right now, so he's probably under five pounds. So, before I put any of my color resin down, I always put some clear. This just helps my resin that I actually put time and color into uh, move across the canvas more easily. You can do a thick layer, just remember, if you have like a curved edge canvas like this one, um, your resin's gonna flow off if it breaks this uh, edge. Surface tension, is that a word that, yeah. I, I feel like that's an appropriate that term for what's going on right now. Edge tension, surf edge tension. I'm just adding a little heat to pop the bubbles that were mixed in to the resin. And adding heat to it makes it easier to manipulate. Not as important right now since we still have to add all this. So I haven't used this emerald color in a long time, but since it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought what better day to add a beautiful deep green. So this is emerald by Color Obsession. It is a paste. It doesn't have any sparkle to it, which is perfectly fine for me. It almost looks like it has a turquoise look to it. So the amount of resin to paint ratio should be about 10%. If you mix too much paint in there, you'll end up with like a resin that'll set too fast or something that'll turn into like this marshmallow fluff type consistency and that's not a good time at all. That is a lovely color. You'll see it better in just a second. So, next color I'm doing is Color Obsessions Tint in Meadow, Green Meadow, oh my goodness, probably too much tint, but it is what it is. Um, they're sick. Beautiful, looks like a melted Jolly Rancher. I'm also making just a little bit of Color Obsessions 008 Pale Gold Powder. Not that much because it doesn't take that much to create something beautiful. I have gold powder everywhere, that's okay. It is a powder, so slowly incorporate it into your resin or else it'll just puff up in your face. That's not a good time. And then I'm also gonna do some Stone Coat This White. Um, it doesn't take a lot of this white. And in fact, you should err on the side of caution and try to use too little rather than too much paint in your resin because if you use too much, your cells aren't, just, they're just gonna blob they won't stay i'm so sure that they're building some kind of space vehicle upstairs so you want to just mix it into opaque okay now i'm gonna make sure i don't have any dry spots and add some resin You can add resin however you want in any kind of design you want. It's completely up to you. I don't know where this design came from, but I'm feeling it, so. 
I'll always also try to leave just a little room for whatever metallic color I'm working with. Like this one's gold because it will take over. So use that sparringly. Is that a word that could be used there? Sounds like it'll work. Sparringly. Okay, now for the fun part. The heat. I like to move my resin in two ways in particular. I like to use a heat gun to like push it like that. So like to use my swiping paper and manipulate it that way. So let's try to do just one swipe. She might be out the Is she done done? stretch that color out. I like having this like really deep cave like area and then having everything else kind of just fade out. Patrick's Day. I usually don't like working with green, but I am not mad at all at this painting. Not at all. So I'm gonna fill up this Jerusy mold with some of this leftovers. Let's put a ring of gold in there, cause yes. Hopefully it does something instead of just like sit there. It's quite possibly what will happen. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with these Druzy molds, but whatever it is will be amazing. I'll probably just throw them into the mystery boxes, to be honest. Do some white. A little bit of gold. And the rest, it's dark green. All right some molds done got my piece done now it's time to relax so thank you guys so so much for watching and checking out what we're getting into today sorry it is not live but I hope that it um, taught you something or you at least had a good time I'm digging this piece and I'm 
not a green person. Come investigate, Miss Fox. Um, if you want to see what we're into today, check out our Snapchat and other social media things over here. And we will um, be back in our regularly scheduled time slot. I actually like that deep green. Right? That emerald color? Mm -hmm. um, not tomorrow. We have to do a memorial service for a friend of ours tomorrow. So we're going to go early tomorrow. I will post in our Facebook group. ATD's poor people when we're going to go live tomorrow. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. You're all so special to me. Be kind to one another, and we will see y'all. Uh, Mayana, bye. Bye. She said bye. <laughs>